quick look at the the rework station that's uh, blowing hot air to work so I am pretty new to hot air rework so whatever you see here is probably not the best way to do it but it's based off of things I've seen online and things like that but hopefully it's not that bad and what I do here now is um, the MOSFET itself this guy right here is you need to solder this this part and then you need to solder those ends on it and what I found was that I have difficulty um, making sure when this base plate is, is actually soldered down because you can't see it so what I decided to do was only apply solder to the base plate and then after that apply it to the legs and I don't know if that is the correct method this one is but that's what I got for now so excuse me if I am wrong also another thing I found was that I heat up the back of this guy oh that's hot I'll heat the back of this a little bit and that actually helps me Sorry for all the static noise, I don't know where that's coming from. Alright, so now you kind of see that, that solder shrivel up inside and that's just it's going to where it needs to be. Because that's where the contact points are. And this solder is actually a mix of flux and solder. So it's the best of both worlds. And the flux lowers the melting temperature of the solder, which allows us to get these things done quickly and painlessly. Now that I got the uh, the base done, and the way I check that is just give it a slight. Oh, see, it's still moving. So it is not has not been soldered down. Otherwise, if I had uh, soldered down the legs first, the arms, then I would not, definitely had had no idea if, if it was attached or not. Now we can see the solder get a little liquidy. I'm seeing some moisture on the side. 
So it looks like it is soaked. And we are at reflow temperature. And Ow. This mic is incredibly not directional at all. It's picking up everything. I just got these uh, brand new Sam Sure mics for podcasting, and they're just excellent. They uh, you would not hear any of this noise. You're probably wondering why didn't you use those mics for this? Well, next time, next time. There's a little ball of solder there. What's it gonna do? Should I take it? It's okay. Hello. Nice. That's for the solder. It came with it? Yeah, no, that's part of the solder. Oh, wow. That's dope. Okay, so this looks like it's actually soldered down because now I can't move it. I don't know if that's a good test, but that's all I got for now. This trace right here, unfortunate series of events, I uh, did not heat it up properly, and when I pulled off the old MOSFET, I actually pulled off a piece of this trace right here. So it is glued back with epoxy, but I'm not sure how good of a bond that is going to be. So I hope, although the guys on the on the forums that deal with this kind of stuff said not to worry, that it's okay. So we'll see. All right. So now we could do the the arms or, or the legs or whatever you call them. See if I can get a little closer. That's about as close as I can get. Okay, that's not very pretty, but... That should do it. Alright, now we gotta move on to the 
the most difficult one, which is the one that uh, is giving me problems. So nice of you to join us here as we embark on this journey. And once again, I'm just going to be applying solder paste to these contacts here. I am not applying them to those because I want to make sure that it is in fact soldered down. I'm going to preheat this MOSFET a little bit. Alright, there she goes. Seeing some moisture on the side. Looks like it pulled in a little bit. But it is still moving, so it has not made full contact. moving and it looks like the epoxy that I put on to glue down the trace is moving as well. Let's let it cool off a little bit. It's on there. It's on there. It is on there, folks. Okay. That's that. Just want to make sure that it really is on there. Yep. It's on there. Alright. Now we got these. The final two.
Now the uh, the machine that Hotter Rework Station, I just turned it off and it has a feature that where it goes into cool down mode because the element is still hot and there's a chance of burning it. So that's it, I mean I hope this this works. We replaced one, two, three, four, five, six MOSFETs. And uh stay tuned, we'll uh we'll see how this uh this thing works or not. Peace.